Konnichiwa, Boku Aroki Des, and welcome back to today's video where I'm super excited, but I'm also super sad because today we've got Chainsaw Man chapters 135 to 140. We're finally caught up. I never thought that I would catch up to this manga. <laughs> I, I mean, I did, but also at the same time, I, I didn't. You know what I mean? Like, as I've said, um, I kind of feel like it's the end of an era, but it's not. It's just the continuation of the current one, but. Dude, this is my very first manga. I've told you guys all the way back in like, I think chapters 38 to 40 that like, this is my very first manga I'm reading. This is my very first time that I've been this invested in a story and I am not a reader. I don't like reading, or at least I didn't like reading, but here I am. And um, yeah, man, so today's a big day. Today's a cool day, but I, uh, I also can't wait to see what's going on with this story because I feel like we're starting to cook and it is wild, right? Dude, imagine starting your very first manga, and it's fucking Tatsuki Fujimoto's Chainsaw Man. <laughs> like, imagine that. Imagine that. Anyway, I digress. Today, um, of course, we continue on. The Chainsaw Man church is basically being fucking annoying as hell. Um, I think government and public safety are up to some shit. You guys have put some really cool theories um, in the in the comments of my recent video, so I just want to say thank you for that. Thank you for everyone who always comments on the videos, man. Um, I read what you guys say. You're awesome with spoilers, so thank you for being W man's literally at all times. And today, indeed, even though we're catching up, we do actually have again a like goal, which I want to hit. So today is gonna today's I was gonna say today's gloner. Today's goal is gonna be 200. Now, for those of you guys that know. Of course, I do intend on reacting to Fire Punch. I do want to read Fire Punch. At the moment, Fire Punch is scheduled for Monday, but if we hit 200 on this video, so if we hit 200 likes on this video, instead of being on Monday, you'll get Fire Punch chapters early. And we'll probably do one to three or one to five. So if we hit it, it'll come earlier. Maybe it'll be Friday, maybe it'll be Saturday, whatever. But uh, yeah, let me know. Of course, if you guys enjoy the reactions anyway, if you enjoy the vibes regardless, obviously, do feel free to stick around, but Fire Punch, fuck, I'm excited for that shit. I've heard it's miles, miles wilder than Chainsaw Man, which is already mind blowing, but anyway, I digress. Today, chapter 135, 321, let's go. The sentimental Drive. On a television program late last night, Chainsaw Man revealed his human form. Bullshit. Although he hid his face with a hat, his handsome looks are causing a stir. <laughs> Lol, bro, literally like. My man's Dennis is like, please, I'm supposed to be the one that they're saying this about. Handsome? You called him handsome? Look at me. Supposedly, phone calls to the Chainsaw Man church from prospective members are currently surging. Mm. Additionally, because this self-proclaimed Chainsaw Man did not transform on the program, some are calling his claims into question. These are the correct people. Like, okay. Dennis is in shambles. He is. My, my guy is fucking punching the air right now. This is like cultish, right? Cultish in as much as like, I don't really know how to say what I want to say, but the way that you could technically say the state is even using, or I guess you could say like the idea of like a religion or a cult here to like garner attention, to divert away from either things that they're doing or to intentionally like position certain individuals in certain places to either knock them down or take advantage of the power or whatever is very funny because real world parallels are crazy but what's the government's what's the government's deal with this because i'm only assuming it's the government because public safety are the ones that are enforcing this so what's the go with that there's a reason we haven't seen this man's face yet either as well too There's no way this stand-up guy is Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man is stupid and crude and simple-minded, but he saved my life multiple times. Is Chainsaw Man truly your prince in shining armor? I mean, do you mean your prince in not-so-shiny chainsaw? Maybe. <laughs> sure. Bread. Dude, you're so cute. <laughs> Brett, look at that smug ass grin on her face, bro. <laughs> yes, perhaps he saved your life, but he's my mortal enemy, and I plan to kill him. How could you fall in love with Chainsaw Man, of all people? 
I have not. <laughs> I have not. <laughs> oh, Asa, my girl. It's not like I like him. It's just he saved me again and again. You fall for men so easily, Asa. I mean, I like... I mean, I mean, look, the thing is, she's not wrong, but also, damn, that hurts. That's a burn. Yoru, are you in a good mood or something? Normally, you fly into a rage when I say so much as a good word about Chainsaw Man. <laughs> War draws nigh. Mmm, okay. So she's aware of the impending terror as well, too. She can feel that. Falling Devil's mere presence temporarily reversed gravity in places all over the world. All nations suffered damage and simultaneously became poorer. Mm. When humans want money, they always go to war. And once they do, they will all remember and fear me. Mm. Interesting. So when they go to war, that's when they'll remember me. And that's when they'll fear me. Because I mean, I guess, you know what, Loki, when you think about it, Okay, let's talk about concepts of war and peace for a second, right? There is, like, I studied international politics at university, just in case anyone's like, um, excuse me, what the fuck are you talking about? Or how are you qualified? I'm really not. I'm just a YouTuber at the end of the day. Look at me, mum. I made it. I read manga for a living now. But it's one of those types of things where, think about the concepts of peace and war, right? Is war the absence of peace or is peace the absence, absence of war? Or are they both or are they neither? The thing is, when you think about this, indeed, during our daily lives, for those of us that live in, I guess, what you could call technically, quote unquote, safe countries, war is not necessarily something that we regularly have to worry about. Like, I know for me in Australia, right? And I mean, this is indeed a great privilege, um, at least to come from this type of like perspective. War is not something that I wake up and think about immediately. If anything, actually, funnily enough, it's in the back of my head. So it's in the very back of my head. Like, you know, it's it's so something that I'm not even like remotely worried about whatsoever. Like, I mean, on top of that, I don't even necessarily like watch news media that much, like, you know, on TV, especially, you know, because that shit is basically just fear mongering to a very large extent. And so it's not necessarily something that is like actively in my mind. And so also here as well too, Yoru brings a really good point in as much as I think for most people, when there's no issues or when there's peace or when there's the absence of war, the fear of war actually significantly subsides. So Yoru actually likely becomes far weaker, especially in those types of circumstances. I mean, you know, during say like World War One or World War Two or even the Cold War, especially as well too, Yoda was probably all powerful as fuck, bro. She was probably just like, <laughs> yeah, let's fucking go, go ahead, everyone, take me on. Whereas in the periods between those, I mean, actually, for I guess World War One to World War Two, there was actually some pretty big. Um, there's still some shit going on. I mean, people still feared war, I think, even way back then, even in the intermittent periods. But for for now, at least, like, there's been a large, uh, I guess you could say, don't mind this political commentary, but I guess you could say that there's been a large, um, I guess you could say, blanket of peace that has, you know, been laid on the world for quite some decades at this point, where world war isn't necessarily that big of a fear. Sometimes it's been stoked and whatnot with certain uh, countries and their nuclear capabilities and stuff like that and all that jazz. But even in this world, nuclear capabilities technically don't exist because Chainsaw Man ate them, right? So no one necessarily remembers nuclear weapons here. So exactly, right? Exactly. So like the thing is, even in this world, people probably are just like, like they, they just, you know, they're chilling, they're cruising, they're like, war? Psh, I don't need to worry about that. And so Yoru is like significantly um, underpowered at this point. But indeed, what do people go to war over? Well, people, not necessarily people, but what do countries go to war over? What do nations go to war over? Anything. Religion, salt, money. Um... <laughs> I mean, you, colonialism, like, you know, conquest, like, you, there's so many different things that nations go to war over, but one thing definitely is 
resources and money. So, hmm, when humans want money, they always go to war. And once they do, they'll all remember and fear me. I wonder as well too though, maybe this is just me reading into it too much. When humans want money, they always go to war. They do, it's a very like older, more hard power type of move that she's probably talking about, like physically fighting and then occupying and pillaging. The problem is, is that funnily enough, the counterweight to this is that wars cost fuck tons of money as well too. <laughs> wars cost fuck tons of money. <laughs> like the funny part is, is like, yes, like when humans want money, they always go to war. But the thing is, is that like, Wars cost so much fucking money that sometimes they actually leave some countries even worse off afterwards, even if they were part of the victors or whatnot, you know, than beforehand, especially for those afterwards. Like, the thing is, is like, oh, how can I put this? Oh, I swear to God, I'm turning this into a fucking international relations lecture. The thing is, is that like, countries will go to war when they see that the benefits outweigh that when they see that the benefits outweigh the detractions, if that makes sense. If they feel like they have a good chance at being able to make some money out of it or take some land or something like that, this is like a very realist train of thought, by the way, then countries will and can go to war. The projected benefits, exactly right. Like they're assumed benefits because there's no guarantees. The thing is, is that like, that's what's kind of like necessary or needed for a country to engage in a war. Unless it's like just directly straight up invaded and it's got no fucking choice. Like they just literally territorially have to defend themselves. So I mean, you know, here, interesting to kind of like unpack that a little bit. But even nowadays as well too, most wars that are, th that are fought, exactly right. Most wars that are fought are generally of economic nature and or cyber nature as well too like they exist in the economic and cyber spheres so funnily enough when humans want money they always go to war what war are we talking about here like one that's much more like physically like physical combat much more i guess you could say like um old-fashioned in terms of like hard material power or are we talking more about like economic war yoru i wonder because hmm War comes in all flavors, all shapes and all sizes, indeed. If you get your strength back, won't you need to kill, won't you not need to kill Chainsaw Man anymore? Of course I will. I'll use my renewed strength to kill him. She's got a vendetta, bro. <laughs> she has a vendetta. It's time you got your head out of the clouds. Forget he ever saved you. Ah, uh, pain. No flashbacks. <laughs> I told you to forget it. How can I help it? The memory's well up on their own. Then don't think, fool. Ooh, Yoru. Ooh, Yoru, Yoru, Yoru. Why is it that you with those eyes remind me of a certain individual starting with the letter M and ending in Akima? Don't think. Let me do it all. Don't think. Don't pay attention. Don't use your head. Yeah, I bet. Sentimental Drive, written by Asamitaka. The day we went on our first motorcycle ride, I felt your body heat for the very first time. Your head was a chainsaw, yet I couldn't deny that your warmth was human, that of someone alive. In retrospect, every time you saved my life, my body's cold as can be, as frozen as ice. Although I'm doomed to always end up all alone, you always came to my rescue. That much I know. <laughs> no, bro, like, dude. You know, as well too, like, she's like struggling with her thoughts here. Dude, that actually made me kind of well up, Loki, damn. Yeah, poetry, right? She's like, you know, trying so hard to like fight with her thoughts right here. And I mean, this is kind of like indicative of her internal conflict with Yoru as well at the same time. And then Chainsaw Man is just blazing on through, you know, like even like, crashing into her image and stuff like that as well too like plowing through her thoughts and whatnot like even the chainsaw coming out of the wheel here don't recite some embarrassing poem it's a poetry reading you're eating that plain girl fuck girl girl 
I, <laughs> Fami, please. No one asked for you to be here right now. Why are you here? Where'd you come from? Girl just fucking snapped herself in. <laughs> yeah. When did you get in here? When did you get there? Can I eat this? The door was locked. How did you get in? Can I eat this? What's her deal? Famine. What do you want? Can I eat this? <laughs> Give me bread. <laughs> Give me bread. I love how even Yoru's on guard as well too. Yoru's on guard as well against against Fami as well too. And priorities. <laughs> I'm here to grant both your wishes. Our wishes? Yeah. Can I look in your fridge? Leave at once or I kill you. Asa wants to help Chainsaw Man. Yoru wants to kill him. It's possible to choose both. How? Is killing him helping him? Is that kind of what she's implying there? I feel like that's way too easy. What are we looking at here, wise? I love as well. It's Yoru, closes her eyes, it's Asa. Like Asa comes back. How? Would Yoru concede with that as well too? Because Yoru wants to kill Chainsaw Man. But would Yoru concede to killing Chainsaw Man as well as helping him as well too? Because I mean, she has helped him regardless of whether she wanted to or not previously anyway. It's probably just that she doesn't want anyone to get in the way of her goal and that is killing him. But after that, maybe she doesn't really give a fuck what happens to him, whether or not Asa wants to be with him or not. But then again, she did say mortal enemy and mortal enemies is not, it's not something that you solve like once. Because I mean, we know Chainsaw Man's going to be back. At the moment, Chainsaw Man has given up on fighting devils to lead an ordinary human life. Huh? The problem is that Chainsaw Man's own heart prevents him from being an ordinary human. Oh, no, we're going to separate Pochita. Well, we, we can't do that. Even weakling devils can become powerful by eating strong devils, those who are feared. It's why devils are constantly after him, trapping him in a cycle of violence. Many of the Chainsaw Man Church's followers were saved by Chainsaw Man. We want to save him this time. We're hunting down all the devils in town so that we want, so that he won't have to fight. If everyone forgets about Chainsaw Man, he'll grow weak as a devil, and then he can live an ordinary life. Mm. I want you to join the Chainsaw Man Church and fight with us, Asa. Why? Someone who's been saved should want to return the favor. I'm so fucking sus right now, Fami. Save Chainsaw Man? You must be joking. Even if us, even if Asa re agrees, I refuse. Is it the red Chainsaw Man you want to fight, Yoru? Excuse me? Isn't it this black Chainsaw Man? So are we talking about the two different variations right now? Not Denji as Chainsaw Man, but Chainsaw Man... Yeah. Yeah. Like the one that was even able to get Makima to begin with. The way that he was able to like split off to begin with. Isn't it this Black Chainsaw Man? Oh! Black Chainsaw Man and Red Chainsaw Man are not the same person. I'm not surprised you didn't realize, since we have sisters, since we, since we sisters have no interest in faces, human or devil. If you want to fight Black Chainsaw Man, you'll need to turn Red Ch Chainsaw Man back into an ordinary human. Oh, okay. The Chainsaw Man that Asa wants to save and the Chainsaw Man that Yoru wants to kill are different beings. Join the Chainsaw Man church and you can help each other. Nah, you see, what we don't understand though here 
is that the Black Chainsaw Man and the Red Chainsaw Man, both Denji and Pochita, don't want to be apart. <laughs> this is the point. We're buds. We're boys. But why should we trust you? We're not saving him at all. You were secretly manipulating things that time with Yuko and at the aquarium. And this Chainsaw Man church is totally fishy. Also, could you not leave my fridge open? You're wasting electricity. And for that matter, oh, that Chainsaw Man on TV was totally phony too. Correct, he's a fake. A double to protect Chainsaw Man from devils. Uh, you don't have to trust me. I'm asking you to trust the church's followers. They're honestly trying to save Chainsaw Man. Nah, you know what my you know what my motto is, bro. Trust no one. That's trust no one. I don't believe for a second that there is a group out here that genuinely cares about what Denji wants and what Pochita wants. Considering everything that they've already been through, considering even the fact that also at the same time, hi, I'm no one. <laughs> exactly. Right? I think considering everything that's happened to him so far, like even, even Makima, right? Coming back to that. She said she was one of Chainsaw Man's followers, that she was essentially like his biggest fan. She just wanted to control him at the end of the day. She didn't care about what Denji wanted. She didn't care about what Pochita wanted. <laughs> you know? She didn't care for the, the contract that Pochita made with Denji at all. She didn't want to know anything about it. She didn't give a fuck. She was like, well, whatever. Here's my, here's my own, here's my own reasoning, right? Right? She was fine with either outcome, right? The thing is, is that at the end of the day, it's never been about what Denji and what Pochita want, or either or, right? And also at the, same, at the same time, I mean, I don't know, man. It's all, it's all a bit confusing for me, but I don't really have anything else to substantiate my suspicion with other than I'm sus, trust no one. <laughs> if things work out, I will be very pleasantly surprised, but I am, I am so fucking sus. Plus, also as well too, man, let me, let me just say this. Anything that involves a church, this is just me. This is no commentary on like religion and or like my religious standpoints or anything like that. But the moment it's like an organization or something like that, let alone like an, an ad hoc church or something or a self-proclaimed church or something that's especially being like run by public safety. No, I don't trust it. In other news, today, in the early hours of the morning, a member of the Chainsaw Man Church defeated the Carpenter Bee Devil that had invested an apartment, in build, uh, an apartment building here in Tokyo. This female high school student is making headlines for defeating over 10 devils this month alone, despite not being a devil hunter. She's a volunteer, right? It's admirable. Isn't she paid with the believer's money? How to put it? Quit playing devil hunter. That Chainsaw Man Church member. You know, Asami Taka? I heard it wasn't Chainsaw Man who defeated the Eternity Devil at the Aquarium. It was actually Asa. Someone said they saw her fight a devil at school too. There's even a report that Asa Mitaka was in the apartment building that Cockroach Devil destroyed. Maybe all of Chainsaw Man's kills were actually Mitaka's? Asa Mitaka? My guy is like, huh? <laughs> Wearing his own damn merch. Mmm. See, oh, bro, I'm just, I'm glad that we've got the chapters to move with, but I'm so suspicious. Also, that chapter was nice and long. Thank you. That's my boy. <laughs> Look, my man looks dead at school. Fuck. Chapter 136, Normal Life. Uh, uh, uh. You can kind of like imagine he's groaning already. Uh. <laughs> hey. Is that a Chainsaw Man shirt? Who are you? You should know that, like, among the well-informed- <laughs> Actually, wow, did we really just- Hang on. Did we really just do that? Hang on. Did my guy- Did my guy really just go- 
actually. <laughs> Among the well informed, there's this theory that Chainsaw Man is stealing all the credit for Asami Taka's accomplishments. She's a student at our school. I thought you'd know. I thought you should know. Are you fucking serious? Ugh. Huh? Assuming it's true, do you still plan on wearing Chainsaw Man clothes? Because, in a sense, you'd be supporting a victimizer. Mm. Coffee break. Please, spare me. <laughs> all the panels that look the same here are not the same. They're all drawn multiple times, of course. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what? Hey, you two. Did I just hear you dissing Chainsaw Man? Who are you? What's with you dudes? In the name of Chainsaw Man, I'll punish you. My guy, that's me. Are you listening to me, Denzi? You're lucky I'm not suspending you. I love this, like the immediate cut. The immediate time skip, like damn. In my experience, kids without parents are quick to start fights. Next time, it's the red card for you. Got it? Ugh. Oh. Leaves. I hear you put the other guy in the hospital. <laughs> What's good, Yoshida? He lost one tooth. Well, I guess even ordinary high schoolers get into fights. Not that I'd really know either, unless I'm not an ordinary high schooler, right? <sighs> Think skipping school to hang out would make us ordinary high schoolers? My guy just does not want to hear it, man. Ew, 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 ew. What are you, bitch? Ah, yes. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. What a great movie. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> Even knowing we're cutting class, this isn't that fun, is it? No talking during the movie. Everyone evacuated. Who's going to complain? 32 minutes ago, a devil appeared in the theater. It was killed by the theater's devil hunters within a mere two minutes. All that's left is to remove the body. Even without Chainsaw Man, problems get solved. You aren't the protagonist of this movie. It's not like the world will end without you. Oh, but. Yeah, it's almost that scene. This takes me back, bro, to the one shots. But also, takes me back to that scene where we were watching movies with Makima. This kind of just reminds me of the absolute f fucking just, oh, the absolute fucking just mess that Goodbye Eddie was. It was all a dream. <laughs> Psych. God, you'll remember that. Jesus. I have to repost that over here, by the way. Um. Yeah, look. This last thing, even without Chainsaw Man, problems get solved. You aren't the protagonist of this movie. It's not like the world will end without you. Possible. Possible that that's the case. But also as well at the same time, why do you want to remove him from the scene so bad? Why do you not want him on this scene so bad? Right? Is it because we just genuinely care about him so much? I don't think so though. Like, in the broader world building, of course, I understand that, like, you know, all the devils are after him, so he's being trapped in this cycle of, like, you know, devils chasing after him, all of that type of stuff. But Chainsaw Man has survived all this time. Chainsaw Man has gotten rid of devils. He's been able to eat devils to get rid of them as well, too. So, rather instead, like, the way my mind is working right now, maybe it's too one track is that he's seen as a big, 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 big threat. And wasn't Fami talking about how CSM will bring the devil world through his chaos? Yes. At least as far as I remember. I can't remember word for word. But again, like, well, this is the best thing for him. I don't know. I don't know. I'm still like wondering what the fuck's up with the governments, bro. Like... You know, the United States government deciding to sacrifice so many of their population in order to be able to, like, have contracts with the gun devil and whatnot. I 
I think she said falling will be first of the devils who will usher the world into the apocalypse. And he is also trying to stop Denji from being Chainsaw Man. Again, I might sound real stupid here. And that's okay. Because I'll gladly eat my words later. But I'm sus. I'm sus. I want to see my boy come out on top somehow. Even if that just means... Like, if that means happily... Like, living happily, that's okay. But, like... I think... Mans has been hurt too many times before. And also, I think, Loki, I've been hurt too many times before. <laughs> the governments have a vested interest in Denji not being Chainsaw Man anymore. Right. But again then wouldn't that involve him not being, not honoring his contract with Pochta as well too? Or him not being able to be with Pochta or Pochta potentially dying? Because then, you know, like Yoru wants to kill Pochta. I wonder if he'd let that go so easily. You know, I wonder if, I wonder if, it, if, if, if that happens so easily. And also this is a prophecy, right? This is a prophecy though. There's no saying that the prophecy can't necessarily be changed, or at least I don't necessarily know whether or not that's where we're going in this, in this story. But I wonder, I guess basically at this point, yeah, look, basically at this point, my one question is whether we go against the prophecy or whether we honor it, you know? I think, I think that's actually mainly just my main question mark. All of these other things that I'm thinking are just like small offshoots of that. My main thing is, does the prophecy wind up coming true or is it able to be changed? Or is Denji even able to fight against it as well too? Like who says that prophecies have to be fulfilled? That's essentially where I'm at with that. Oh, looks like she made it here before the corpse collected. Corpse, blah, 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 blah. Oh, looks like she made it here before the corpse collectors. Huh? A girl in my class wants to have a date with you. I set you two up. <laughs> Jesus. Bye. Knock your socks off. Hey. Is this what it's like to be normal? Yeah. It is. Sorry, like... I'm super down in the dumps right now. I'm an amazing person, but... I doubt I'm going to be all that charming today. There's all this stuff I can't do now, and I don't know what to do with myself. What am I even getting at? I guess I just want to be alone right now. He's already being really vulnerable with her as well, too. I mean, I know that Denji's probably saying this in a way that's, like, maybe quite abrasive, or is, like, really direct or something like that, but the fact that he's being open with a complete stranger about, like, you know... There's all this stuff I can't do. Like, he could have straight up just blown her off and said, like, go away. I don't, I, I just want to be alone, but. So, like, huh? Uh, what? Don't tell me. Don't tell, don't tell me. Don't, don't. Don't, don't. Why can't we see her, bro? Don't tell me. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> She's. Touching my wiener? <laughs> what are you doing? Bruh, ma'am, we just got here. <laughs> we just got here, ma'am. Look at her smug ass. <laughs> hey, who are you? You haven't said a word, ma'am. Huh? Uh, oh, uh, huh? She's touching my wiener? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> my guy. Yeah, look, nah, 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 Harismant indeed, that's crazy. No. Hey, senpai, you're a virgin, right? Right? Huh? Want me to have sex with you? I've got nothing better to do anyway. Nah, this is not. Too many, too many, too many, um, too many... Things are happening at once. Like, my guy... My guy said his biggest goal, the thing he was living for, was to have sex. He said he wants to have sex. Right? But you know what? Okay, this... <laughs> this takes me back. This takes me back to thinking about what Makima said to him in the first part. Right? When Makima kissed him for the first time, right? When she 
or, or sorry, rather, like, you know, <laughs> oh yeah, for sure, Yoshida was just, like, you know, he was, he was listening for sure. It reminds me of that time in, like, the, the public safety office where Makima taught him all about touch and how it's like, wouldn't you rather do it with someone essentially that like you know you like and you care about you know she bit his finger like remember the t remember the remember the feeling remember the taste of like the lollipop and all of that type of stuff right and he also didn't even wind up doing it with Himeno either and it just makes me kind of think that like yes he says that like you know he wants to have sex and whatnot this kind of reminds me of that period because I wonder whether or not he's still on the same type of vibe that he was then where it's that he wants to do it but with someone that he cares for and that cares for him as well too that it's not just any random person because as we've been able to see Denji can actually be faithful he can actually be a person that is with just one person if you know what I mean at least that's what part one kind of showed us about Denji at least in the very early, early stages, and his, his, I guess, kind of like attachment with Makima, right? Like, sure, exactly, right? With sex is something that people do when they have nothing better to do, exactly what Asa said, right? And so this, like, sex here would be meaningless for him. I wouldn't even be surprised if he recalls what Asa said as well, too, but here, I, I feel like this doesn't have any meaning for him. Now, Yoshida's probably gone and orchestrated this, but he also said that, like, his final goal is to just, like, have sex. But what happens after he has sex, then? Like, what is it after that, then, though? For him. Does he get killed? You know? Like, oh, yeah, well, you were able to live out your final goal, so there you go. Or something like that. Because also thinking back to Pochita's contract conditions, right? Legit. He's been burned by this before with power and boobs. Like, what were Pochita's conditions as well? Show me, show me the things that you want to experience. I can't remember verbatim. Or something like that. Show me the things that you want to experience. And um, I'll give you a new life. Like, I'll, I'll use your body. So show me Denji, right? Because the thing is as well too, like, does he genuinely want to do that? Is that actually what he wants to do? Or is he just being overcome by lust? Or is it just the heat of the moment type situation? And also once, once that like ultimate goal has been fulfilled, then what's the go? Like, are we going to try and separate Pochita and Den Denji that way? How are we even going to be able to separate the two of them to begin with to have... Yoru kill one and Asa save the other. That's another question I've got. Like, how the fuck are we even going to do that to begin with? Like, what do we have to do there? You know? What do we got to do? Mm. Oh, this is all too... This is all a bit too icky for me, man. Go lick that dead devil. How about you go lick it, bitch? Yeah, I've always loved listening to you talk about your dreams. Do that for me, and I'll let you have sex with me. That's disgusting. Choo choo, lovely muni muni muda muda. 137. I'm good. <laughs> I'm okay. Unless. Search this chapter's title on YouTube. Just remember, we can get copyrighted, y'all. Just remember, we can get copyrighted. That's why we use lo-fi to begin with. <laughs> I ain't trying to get struck. He's like, ah. Okay, you're kind of sketchy. Huh? A girl suddenly approaching me? It's like way too convenient. Facts, every girl that... <laughs> every girl that you've ever come into contact with at some point has always tried to kill you, right? For starters... Why would you want to have a date with me when we've never even met? Well, I mean, this ain't a date. She just said she wants to have sex, right? Well, look, I've matured. I don't fall for honey traps anymore. Mm. 
I, Dennis? She looks way too smug, bro. Way too smug. Honey traps, huh? Besides, I'm sick and tired of mindlessly obeying somebody for the bait that's dangled right in front of me. Got it? Then get out of me. Get, get out of here. And have some respect for yourself. <laughs> As he's fucking... As he's pedo pedoing the shit out of this devil, bruh. Benji, please, man. Benji, please, man. Do it like you're sucking a popsicle, senpai. Oh, my God. Bruh. <laughs> what? Bro. Like... Can I just say, I feel like Denji, this is just me, right? I know this is like, this is talking maybe too far on it. Or maybe this is talking too, you know, too, too further back. I feel like Denji would be far more mature right now though. If he did have Aki and Power still by his side, though. You know? It kind of makes me ask myself, what if? What if? Like, what if... What if Aki was still here to berate him? What if... Power was still here to, like... You know? Cause mayhem and, like, hit him in the head and terrorize him and stuff like that as well too. Cause like really when you think about it, like I think because of Aki and because of power, especially as well too, because he essentially had like a family to stay with, Denji really did become um, a lot more mature in some ways. He really learned how to fight alongside power. He learned, you know, for sure. He learned so much more just about I mean, just being a human being and setting goals and all of that type of stuff just from being in Aki's care. Albeit, he was still, like, rebellious and, like, really, you know, super crass and whatnot. But that's kind of how I was thinking. Like, I think that he'd really, like, a lot of things improved for him being with Aki in power. But it kind of makes me wonder, like, what if... Because I can see the side where maybe he would have been far more mature at this point. Maybe he wouldn't be falling for honey traps like that if Aki was still around, if power was still around. But then again, also at the same time, I guess what really happened with Makima fucked him up big time. What happened with Aki and power was some big fucked up shit. I mean, considering anyway that like they were direct results of um, Makima regardless, like they were they were pretty much completely orchestrated by Makima anyway, but, like, even what happened with Makima, like, saying that she doesn't give a fuck about him, that she never cared about him, she never saw him for him, and she was even just trying to use him, maybe not, because, I mean, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> consider that this is also after him being put down so hard the past few chapters, exactly, right, he's at his lowest point once again, he's been put down by Asa, but what I mean, I guess, is that, like, considering maybe if Aki and Power were still around, maybe he wouldn't really give a fuck about what Asa had to say. <laughs> you know? Maybe at this point he's looking for someone that he can trust. And I think for the first time in a little bit, he'd opened himself up to Asa, only to kind of get hurt by it. If you know what I mean as well, too. So I don't know. I just wonder if things would have been completely different. I, I mean, I know that they would have, but I just wonder how different that story would have looked. Regardless, I still think that this is, like, the best the best universe that we're living in right now. That's a lie, actually. The best universe that we'd be living in right now is if power was still alive. IMO. But... Hyuk, hyuk, ha, mm, that's... No. <laughs> Dude, my guy is... He has got that tentacle right down his fucking throat. Jesus Christ. She's cute? In what way? Karaoke Fujimoto. I see you, bro. We're gonna have sex at a karaoke place? We could never get a room at a love hotel in school uniforms. Ah, yes, sex and karaoke. The old, uh, the old one, two. 
Plus, a friend of a friend works here part-time. They'll turn a blind eye. Well, in that case, uh, shall we get to it? Before we begin... Smooch, smooch, lovely, gropey, gropey, horny, horny, jiggle, jiggle, boing, schlick, licky, licky. I feel like I just lost like 150 million brain cells from reading that out loud. I'm not reading it again. Huh? She's singing? Seems like it wasn't a trap though. That's good. I guess? <laughs> I'm kind of having fun, so I'll roll with it. Yeah, so this must be the song, right? That girl's got rock and roll. Rip off her pantyhose. Va voom. See through, body exposed. Maybe being normal ain't so bad after all. You stalkers can't deny your kinky pleasures. Now it's time to mosh together. Hello? Vinyl, 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 vinyl. Sex. What the fuck is going on? She just chilling? Nah, I. Bitch, you get you middle-aged slashes the old timer crew. On their deathbeds the whole year through, living out of diners because they're laid off too. Bro, we lining up? Nah, this is crazy. Nah, this is crazy. What are we doing here? There's no way Yoshida didn't background check this chick though. Yeah. We're just going. Bats and fucking pipes and shit. Dennis using his damn fists. I love how he just doesn't say anything to her, bro. He does not say a single word to her. He just goes, oh, fuck this shit. Beats their asses, bro. Runs out the room, bat in hand. Oh, bro. Bro. Support stress, job stress, males and females. That's the eternal race. Justice game, lust slave, uncontrollable desire, the suitcase, holds rope, duct tape, and a box cutter. Jesus fucking Christ, man. <laughs> you aren't gonna sing the second verse? This seems more fun. Yeah, bitch, you're fucking crazy. Go ahead. Kill her ass, bro. Go ahead. I I'm I don't know. Sword Man, chapter 138. <sighs> he said he was down in the dumps. At least he's being brought out of it, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. Mmm. Yeah, got you. I mean, to understand the chapter better, I get the chapter. It's just, yeah, I think we'll put the song in later. It's all good. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Come on, that shit's a, a, a fucking gun to a bat fight. Do you have any respect? Got your ass beat and then you pull out the strap? For what? <laughs> Yeah, well, you look, at least, at least she's got a, at least, mm, at least we move. Yep. She want a fair fight? Jeez, it's only a model gun. Don't scare me like that. Makes sense, though. Guys attacking with baseball bats wouldn't have a gun, would they? Huh? Aren't you my enemy? Huh? Why would I be your enemy? You were freaking singing while I fought those dudes. Oh, why are you still here? <laughs> Her name is Fumiko Mifune. She's your Juna. Junior. Juna. Wow. Junior. Why are you here? I'm with Public Safety Devil Extermination Special Division 7. I'm in charge of guarding you and other stuff during your student life, Denji-senpai. 
And that's why I'm in high school at age 22. Oh, she... Look, she's older. Also, I kind of love the fact that, like, as all this is coming into vision, we got this really nice little late night sax playing in the background. Yeah. Go ahead. Tell us about it. I still want you to body her ass because she's from public safety, but still. Playlist is playlist and for real. If you're my bodyguard, how come you kept singing when I got attacked? Why is that? Because I don't want my songs getting interrupted. What is wrong with you guys? <laughs> Bro, look. 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 You were in public safety. You should know. No one there is normal. <laughs> Not a single fucking individual here is normal. Anyway, you are Chainsaw Man. Getting attacked by someone who knows your identity comes with the territory. That's why I assigned a bodyguard to you. No possessions we can use to identify them. I thought as much. So, Chainsaw Man's strong even when he doesn't transform, huh? I was impressed. You were super cool, you know? You're only coming onto me as part of your job, right? Talk about a letdown. I really am into you though, Senpai. You are? How could I not be? Senpai, you're the one and only Chainsaw Man. Not true. I'm sorry. We just established that that's not true, though. Because there's a red and there's a black. Which one do you really love? Which one are you really after? Do you actually care for me? Do you actually care for me? Won't someone please just look at Denji for being Denji? Fuck. <laughs> Dude. The romance lover in me is like, fuck, why can't we? Why can't Denji just be loved? Why can't Dennis just be loved for Dennis? You know? He's perversion and all. Go ahead. Someone throw this man a lifeline. <laughs> Go ahead. Like, bruh, it's just, it's all chainsaw man this, chainsaw man that. My guy. As for you, do your job. Sorry, Denzi. I'll set it straight. You won't have to fight again. No. Uh, sure. See, I'm still sus at the fact that they all knew that we were at the karaoke, though. So one, we have enemies like that. They're monitoring us. Two, is this as a direct result of the church, though? Because the church is stirring shit up. The church is stirring shit up, so it's probably likely that, you know, people are out here after us anyway. I mean, did we not see the fact that like the whole reason that that fight started that Denji was just a part of literally two chapters ago was all due to the fact that someone of the Chainsaw Man church just attacked some other dude that had an opinion on Chainsaw Man? Like I wouldn't be surprised if like other people are literally just like, yo, fuck Chainsaw Man, man. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. Damn, Asa. Look at her room, bro. Just devoid of anything. <sighs> In our next segment, we'll be looking into the beautiful high school devil hunter everyone's been talking about. Beautiful. The buzz about the beauty. This recognition we're receiving isn't so bad. I feel as though a thirst of mine is being quenched. Maybe it's that thirst for power, but that recognition. I still love how we see both Yoru and us separately as well too sometimes, man. We aren't doing this for the praise though. We're doing it to save Chainsaw Man. Indeed, we do this to kill Chainsaw Man. <laughs> She's like, mm, 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 agreed. Killing Chainsaw Man, got it. <laughs> I love that. We're doing this to cha save Chainsaw Man. Yes, to kill him. Understood. Mm-hmm. Love that little piece of dialogue. Still, it's maddening to think that Chainsaw Man also experienced this rush. Fame doesn't feel so great to me. Again, Asa and Denji kind of being polar opposites. Denji wants it, Asa doesn't. In fact, it creeps me out. Why? Why? Um, 
because it's an invasion of my my pr privacy or something. You know, he's like. I like that face. <laughs> it's a little crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's a little crazy. She's like, it's an invasion of my privacy. I hate it. <laughs> Bruh. Dude, I love Denji's confused ass face, man. Huh? <laughs> Chainsaw Man Church membership. Join the Chainsaw Man Church. Support Chainsaw Man and Asa as a Chainsaw Man Church <laughs> member. Takes you off, doesn't it? Bro, I was literally like, sir, where is your head? Okay, right. How they're putting Chainsaw Man side by side with some fresh face nobody. Asami Taka. Chainsaw Man church poster girl slash high school student. They say scars appear on her face when she fights devils. Pretty memorable character, isn't she? Who are you, bro? Why do strangers keep talking to me lately? The length of this hair, Loki, made me think Aki for a second, but I can't have that copium. You don't know me? It's cool. I don't remember you either. You ought to know me, though, Chainsaw Man. Okay, for real. Uh, who are you? If they call you Chainsaw Man, that'd make me... Sword Man. Okay. Let's go with that. Huh? <laughs> Seriously. Who... Is this loser? Sword man. Coffee break. We have seen him before. He looks familiar, but I'm trying to remember where though. Cause I know he ain't Mr. Katana Man with the with the shit on his head. But I'm just trying to remember where. Ah. Ah, oh, got you. Got you, got you, got you, got you, got you. I mean, that, that explains why it was like 50 chapters ago. <laughs> right, all right. So it's when Makima brought all the hybrids together. He died, he's now here, yep. Yeah. Which is why he doesn't remember. But he knows him. All right. Chainsaw Man. No chapter 139? Yeah. Oh, okay, it's here. All right. Does this jog your memory? When you fought... Okay. <laughs> if you guys would just let me get 20 seconds further. <laughs> Does this jog your memory? When you fought Makima, a pretty strong sword wielder should have been there too. Yeah. That's right. That was me. Fuck your man. <laughs> Fuck your man. <laughs> No, nope. long story, but I'm not the one who fought that battle. Huh? Wait, you're not? Nah, I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm just kidding. You're, 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 you're little G. Chapter 139. A chair's feelings. What the fuck are these titles, bro? A chair's feelings. Okay. I'm not the one who fought that battle, huh? Indeed, that was Pochita. That wasn't me. <laughs> Dude, I just love... I just love Denji's posture sometimes. He's just... Like, guys just slumped over and just... Uh, uh, look, I gotta go to school. <laughs> he just... You know, he just kind of like... Slinks off. He just... You know... Disappears. Look, I gotta go to school. I transferred here from Kanagawa. My name's... Midi Sugo. Yeah, facts. My hobbies are running and playing the piano. Is he a hunk or what? He's like a mashup of Denji and the student council president. One more thing. I'm not here to make friends. So don't talk to me, you pieces of trash. I like him already. <laughs> don't talk to me, you fucking grubs. Although I will be friends with Denji. <laughs> Do you have a girlfriend? Were you in a club at your old school? 
You have to play piano for us. What, what bitch? What did he fucking say? What did he say? You don't talk to me, you fucking piece of shit. Oh my god, he's so hot. What the fuck? <laughs> Relax. They won't shut up. Hey, Denji, will you get rid of them for me? What do you mean by that? Do you mean like dispose of them or come over here so you'll scare them away type vibe? If so, either way, F. Damn. What do you want, dude? Spit it out already. It's private. Damn, why are you put- Go! Oh, don't mind me. I know what's up. I'm a public safety dog. <laughs> she says that shit. You want public safety? Are you serious? Uh, well, whatever. I'm here as a Chainsaw Man church messenger. The weapons walk with the Chainsaw Man church. The weapon hybrids right. <gasps> Bro, I'm just remembering our girl who starts with the ne the, the, the letter R. I just ain't gonna... I, I can't get my copium up right now. I can't. I can't. I can't, right? I can't. Because, I mean, of course, if he's here... Where's she at? Where's Riz at? That's how you guys want me to fucking say it, right? Riz. Rice. Where's Rice at, bro? Where is she? Come back. Do you still love me? <laughs> Do you still love me? Join us, Denji. Alright, look, maybe the Chainsaw Man Church ain't that bad after all. I just need answers. Just waiting at the cafe. <laughs> the weapons? We're a community of people like you. People who can turn into devils. Right, so hybrids, just all hybrids, got it. Most of the church's top brass are weapons. They're promising you a pretty high position if you join. Wait, wait, wait. It's the Chainsaw Man Church. You gotta make Chainsaw Man the church's leader. Anything less is disrespectful to Senpai, don't you think? Mm. Alright. She a little simpy, but it's okay. I'll allow it. Yeah, what she said. Hey, it's a pretty good offer. You only need to pinch in a, in a pinch. Oh, pinch. Pitch. You only need to pitch in a little with the jobs they give you, and you can do whatever else you want. You can even turn down jobs you don't want to do. You can spend as much money as you want to. I go to the arcade and eat steak every day. Hey, for Denji from his upbringing, that sounds pretty fucking good, man. Steak? Although. Although. Although, although, although. So, like, the, cha the all the weapons are with the Chainsaw Man Church. They can turn down jobs that they don't want to do and stuff like that. They're being given a hell of a lot of freedom here as devils, which makes me mad sus. Still, like, I just don't, like, bruh, yeah. Bro, I'm just like, I'm like, mm, so much freedom and for what though? What are we doing here? Unless, maybe I've just been conditioned, bro. Fujimoto fucking me up. Fire punch is gonna end my life, bro. I'm gonna come out of that probably just like completely just, I don't know. <laughs> I, yeah, look. See, I feel like I'm just running in circles, and then I'm not, and then I am, and then I'm floating up in space, and then I'm falling through the earth. I'm just not entirely sure where I am at any given point. But all I know is I'm suspicious. I don't trust it. What's going on? It sounds too good to be true. Steak every day? Wouldn't you get tired of steak if you ate it every day? Girl, you don't know Denji. I go with sushi. Yeah, sushi. I could never get tired of sushi. Oh, I'd want a daily parfait too if I could get it. I'd never get tired of parfaits either. Even if I had one every single day. Go, no one asked. <laughs> I'd never get tired of Chinese food, even if I ate it for every meal. The food is not the point, you idiots. What are you, little kids? Yes. <laughs> yes, the food is indeed the point, actually. I didn't take this job to chit chat about infantile crap. Denji, you should understand. Mm -hmm. I should? I spent my entire life being used like a tool by worthless bastards. I heard it was the same for you. See? That look says bingo. Am I right? Bingo. I'm not about to worship you, but I am grateful to you with every passing day. In the Chainsaw Man Church, I'm truly free. I realize something. 
my body, my brain. I want to use them for myself. Mm -mm, this is the... Nah, this is some... This is some... Look, look. But this is like the cult shit. This is what cults say. This is what cults say. They tell you what you want to hear. My body and my brain, I ought to use them for myself. My guy keeps talking about the fact that, like, he wants to break away. Denji keeps saying that he wants to break away from people just telling him what to do and being told and being told to obey and stuff like that. And also as well, low-key, in this type of situation, right? Like, joining the Chainsaw Man Church sounds like freedom, but is it freedom or is it freedom within a box? Is it freedom within a box? You know? Like, just how free range are you? Are you free range within, you know, like free range chickens or something like that? Are you free range in as much as you've got this much land to roam over, but beyond there you can't? Are you actually free free? What is freedom even? Is freedom free? You know? What exactly do you have? Are you being controlled? But are you just being led to believe that you're not being controlled? That you've got your own choices, that you've got your own will, and you've got your own agency, and you're able to do everything it is that you want, and that you are using your brain for yourself when you're actually being led down that path? Especially if it's under the guise of something that speaks to you personally, but it's not the empty birdcage indeed, right? I ought to use them for myself. Okay, but what do you want? You just want to be free, right? Is this real freedom? Join me in the Chainsaw Man Church. I'll protect you from public safety and that sushi woman. Hmm. My man's still thinking about it. Also, what I find hilarious is that even though we're all talking about Denji wanting to break free from certain things, he's literally here being a chair for her. Like, yes, this screams like ultimate simp, but also at the same time, like, my guy is literally still being used here. What he wants and what he does are two different things. Or what he wants and what he can do are two different things, rather, should I say. For a public safety dog, indeed. She's not even someone he cares about. She's not even like a head honcho, even. She's just a public safety lap dog, and she's sitting on him. You, trans you transferred schools to give Senpai a recruitment pitch? <laughs> Wait. Sugo, are you sure you aren't being taken advantage of again? Again? Huh? I'm not. I'm a free... I'm doing this of my own free will. Chainsaw Man, of all people, being a chair, it doesn't sit right with me. Hmm. Chairs have feelings too, you know. Butts feel good. Chairs are like content in their own way, you know? Hmm. How can I how can I say what I want to say and make it make sense? It's like... Mm. Denji wants... Freedom. He wants a normal life. But then again, at the same time, there's certain things that he also wants as part of that. Like, you know, he wants a normal life. He wants to be able to have sex. He wants someone to love. Someone to be affectionate with him and stuff like that. People to care about him. These are the things that he wants, right? But he gives in to such simple things that undercut whether or not he's able to exert like whether or not he's able to exert those things that he wants right he wants freedom he wants to be able to protect what he wants to protect but then again also at the same time like sure butts feel good but here at the cost of what like butts feel good but at the cost of what sex feels good but at the cost of what like of your own freedom of your life of what exactly like the thing I think that I wonder the most about Denji is like, what is it that he's willing to sacrifice for these 
things which are much more like trivial and stuff like that. Because again, like sure, butts feel good, chairs are like content in their own way, you know? But people can take advantage of those, people can and they do take advantage of those smaller goals, those smaller things that he values and stuff like that in order to take control of his broader goal, if you know what I mean. Denji wants sex? All right. Yoshida says, bet, let me go ahead and introduce you to a junior and um, she will approach you and the first thing she will talk about is sex in order to be able to get close to you. And that's exactly what happened. My guy was putting his walls up. He was putting his walls up in an effort to protect himself and an effort to actually go ahead and realize what it is that he wants. And that is, I want to be free. I want to stop obeying people. I want to be in a position where I can have control over my own life. And yet at the same time, the whole thing that undercut that entire exercise of power for him there was his other goal of, but I really want to have sex. And so they infiltrate it's like they infiltrate him that way and they erode his own control over himself. This is at least just one way. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just trying to cook right here. I could be completely wrong, but it's like they erode his control by just attacking it from the ground up. You know, his ultimate goal is freedom to be able to do what he wants to live a normal life. He does want to live a normal life, but what normal looks like for Denji, what normal can look like for Denji at the moment, we don't necessarily know, but it's like, it's, it's like just gradually, my man is being kind of cut down, but he's not really realizing, maybe he does realize, but he's being cut down very, 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 very slowly. And eventually, he's not gonna have any, he's not gonna have any control over himself. Because what can he do here? Like he's literally giving into a public safety lap dog. And also on top of that, she still didn't, she still didn't fuck him. <laughs> they still didn't have sex. <laughs> like, all that happened was that he went to karaoke. She said, we're gonna have, we're gonna have sex here. They get attacked and then, oh, well, sex? Who said that? All of that. And now he's, now he, now they're acquainted with each other. Now he's got, now he's got a relationship there with each other, there with her and stuff like that. Like the original, the whole point of him even opening up to her and even like letting her get close to him to begin with was completely just null and void eventually anyway. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I can't eat steak every day, but... I do eat pot stickers and ice cream and other tasty foods. I'm happy with my normal life. Plus, a normal life was my dream. I'm not joining the Chainsaw Man Church. You know what? Fear? Fear? Can be a valuable servant, but a very dangerous master. And unfortunately, I think here is that fear is on public safety's side, at least the way I can read into it. In as much as the only thing that Denji knows that he can protect at this point is Nayuta. Now, if they hadn't have threatened him with that, then his normal life would just be doing whatever it is that he wants to do. And that includes turning into Chainsaw Man, whether he wants to do that or not, right? And the thing is, is that he, the only reason that he reconsidered anything, the reason that he had to talk to himself and talk to Pochita in the toilet, in the bathroom, was because he desperately wants to convince himself that he's doing it for this, that he's doing this for his normal life, that this is his normal life. But what even is normal? My version of normal life versus your version. Yes, I'm talking to you, the person who's watching right now, whoever you may be, wherever you may be, however old you may be, whatever you may be. Your version of normal and my version of normal are two completely different things. But what he's living right now is what public safety's version of a normal life for Denji specifically is. And that's mad sad because he's not, he's not happy with it. A normal life was his dream, but also just remember, didn't he say with Makima as well too, 
like around around that chapter where power died i can't remember exactly where it was didn't he also express that the bare necessities all he wanted was food in his stomach and a roof over his head and then even then he'd realized that he'd sold himself so short with that like he'd eventually even realized that there was so much more that he could want that there was so much more that was acceptable for him to want from life beyond just that like food in his stomach and a place to stay you know and i think here he's undercutting himself again look i'm happy with my normal life and it's a normal life was my dream well was it was it a normal life that you want that you want control over or one that public safety gives you that's the question forget it let's get one thing straight i didn't transfer here just to recruit you i wanted to be your friend Den denji because you're the one who killed makima and freed me too bad if you came with me you could sleep with all the women you want too My guy just breaking down. What? <laughs> Bruh. Man's waiting. I've thought it over. I'll join. <laughs> what the? Did you teleport? Oh, so this isn't later in time? Oh, so this isn't later in time? Under repair. Watch your head. Right, so this is literally the same stairs that you just walked down. Unless this is like... Unless this is like some... Unless this is like some like... Oh, no, there's not two dandies, right? No. Surely not. I've given what you said a lot of thought. Yeah about whether I've also been somebody else's tool, I mean. You're damn right. I was a tool. Chainsaw Man Church? Sign me up. You know what's funny? You know what's funny? I was a tool. I was a tool in as much as I was a tool to be used by others, but also I was a tool in as much as I was a tool that was an idiot because tool is often used like if someone says oh you're a fucking tool at least over here in australia as well too this is just how i'm reading into it just let me let me cook right someone says oh you're a tool it means you're a dumbass because you know tools are just fucking tools they just get used by anyone for any purpose all of that type of stuff so i was indeed a tool i was used by others but i was also an idiot i was silly back then i was dumb there's not much I could do. And he is a chainsaw. <laughs> exactly. I mean, well, all, all, of the, all of the weapons are tools. Because <laughs> they're all weapons. <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right, 140. I don't want to be caught up. No, I don't want to be caught up. I don't want to be caught up. Oh, Jesus Christ. The first fucking thing. Chapter 140, scales. Mm, scales of justice. The building apparently originally belonged to some cult. How fucking fitting. How fucking fitting, isn't it? Eh? Oh, it originally belonged to a cult. But don't worry about all that. <laughs> don't say. Oh, dear. The Chainsaw Man Church absorbed the cult and took everything. Building and all. And members, too, I wonder. Awesome, right? We vanquished evil. Sure. I still want to know where the fuck the justice devil is, bro. Evil. All this talk about good and evil. All that shit. Justice. Prevailing over evil. Justice is at your school. Where the fuck is the justice devil again, bro? Bitch was here one day and then dipped the next. Hey. Oh yeah, I'll say the peep. I'll say that the sword guy is who people currently think Denji gave blood. Ooh, yeah, true, 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 true. 
Because the long pants. Yeah, the long pants and the sneakers make sense. Yeah. I was going to wait for us to cook a little bit more, but that makes perfect sense. That, that works. Because, I mean, also, he saved his life as well too, right? Mm, yeah, to cut his hand. Mm. I mean, he saved his life. He wanted Denji back so that he could save his life. He's kind of repaying the favor there as well too, you know? Hmm. Hey, where are those all-you-can-sleep-with girls? Oh, my God. It's like Denji thinks there's a fucking buffet, bro. They're all just waiting in a room, right? The all-you-can-sleep-with girls. <laughs> Take it easy. We'll get to that. Short stuff's going to give you the tour first. Uh, um, I'll, I'll be, um, your guide. Your, your guide, Nobana Higashiyama. Yeah, this, this dead ass just straight up a cold, bro. Fuck. Oh. Dude, it's, it's almost all students. Yeah. Good eye. You see... The Chainsaw Man Church is run by a body of students rather than adults. Benny, bro. Yep. Looks like it, too. The adults' mental faculties are diminished because of an American ultraviolet ray weapon in Japan's air. <laughs> I mean, look. The adults' mental faculties are diminished because of an American ultraviolet ray weapon in Japan's air. <laughs> Bro, I'm so sus. <laughs> I'm so sus. That's why our students are forming the Chainsaw Man Church together. America's the freaking worst. Are you for real? <laughs> My guy. America's the freaking worst. I mean, I can understand why we think that anyway with the gun devil and whatnot. It's really, it's, it's for real. Chainsaw Man's devil powers give him supervision. That's how he discovered it. They're really real. They're really, for real, dangerous. America and adults both. Hey, what's that room? That's the Chainsaw Man Wedding Chapel. Chain, Chainsaw Man Wedding Chapel? That's right. In the next room over, Denji, you'll, um, you'll have... S-E-X with a girl. Sekusu? <laughs> oh, I will? Yeah, and then you'll marry her in the chapel. And, and after that, you'll join the Chainsaw Man Church. Wait, so we're, we, we fuck and marry? We just fuck and marry like that? And then, oh, you remember? What? What? Nah. Nah, that's, that's, nah, that's, nah, 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 get out of there, my guy, right now, don't give in, please, do not give in. Also, dude, thinking about it, like, look, you know, like, sex is like a ritual, right? If you think about it, like, in spirituality terms, you know, if you even try and think about it in, like, a cult, like, the exchange of energy and stuff like that, in essence, it's, it's kind of like a contract as well, too. If you really want to read into it. So couldn't this be like mad fucking dangerous? I, uh, nah, nah, I feel, nah, this is, ma nah, this is no way. This is dangerous, bro. What if my guy winds up brainwashed? <laughs> what the fuck? Say like, what? I'm not going to marry her. What the hell are you talking about? Huh? W wait, what? Hey, gotta, gotta be a good guide. In the Chainsaw Man Church, we encourage student marriages and... Uh, oh, right, that's it. The current system of getting married after you become an adult was brought over from America. Chainsaw Man saw it for what it really is. A system for controlling Japanese people as slaves. Marrying as students and then raising the, chil the resulting children in the Chainsaw Man Church is the most natural... The most natural marriage system... Yeah, this shit... Oh, fuck, bro. Dude, imagine, like, there's no way, there's no way that my guy here is not just being like, nah, man, this is dead ass a cult, this is 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 a cult. Like, no. Surely not, right? There's there's no way that he's not saying that right now. 
This is scary af. For real though, America's the freaking worst. Yeah, this is advanced, bro. This is like a whole new society. This is like a new world order type shit. You lying sacks of crap. I want to have sex, but I don't want to get married. Huh? Why the hell not? I never found no American ultraviolet whatever either. Uh, huh? For real? You didn't? Of course not. That bro. 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 Me. I'm Chainsaw Man, bitch. What do you mean? Like, no? <laughs> Did I say that? No. <laughs> yeah, he's like, uh, wait, huh? What? I didn't say shit. I didn't say fucking anything. Mm. How, how brainwashed are we here, bro? I mean, yeah, maybe we lie, make that embellish things a little. But it's true that the Chainsaw Man Church has saved a bunch of people. Why are you even... Why are you even having this, like, fucking conflict mentally with recalling your memories and recalling what's good and then also just defending embellishment like that? Does that make it okay to make up crap and force kids to get married, though? You're a kid too, you piece of trash. You came with me without a second thought. Without a second thought? I thought this through logically, and I'm being logical too, man. If we save a hundred people, it's no big deal if one person gets screwed in the process, right? <laughs> oh, the moral question. The moral question. Right? Indeed. The old, uh, the old return to who would you save on the train tracks, right? An old man on one side and then a woman and children on the other. Who do you save? You know? Who is it? Like, like what is right? Is it right for one person to take the fall for the common good? A cat. <laughs> yeah, right? Or a cat on one side and a human on the other side. Mm. I'm not saying because I don't know how I feel about that, but... Just interesting that we would raise this uh, this question here. D -d 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 don't fight. I can't g g g guide you like that. Mm. Right? Hey, our next stop is a fun one. It's called the Chainsaw Man bathroom and... What? That'll do, Nobana. Go back to your usual duties. Yes, yes, sir. Bruh. Hey, I brought him like you said. Talk some sense into this idiot for me, will you? Hey there. Long time no see, or so I'm told. But since neither of us remember each other, put her there. I'm Barim. Are you shooting scissors, paper, rock? The flamethrower hybrid, got you. <laughs> What'd you do that for? Oh, F you up, you butt munch. Fine by me. If you did, Chainsaw Man might come to save me. I wonder why he hasn't been fighting devils lately. It's quite the mystery. Hey, what do you think would bring Chainsaw Man back? Like I care? Hmm, what are we to do? Would he come back if a big bad devil tore up Tokyo? Tokyo will be fine, even without Chainsaw Man. It has Devil Hunters. Plus, there's Asa. Oh, you know Asa? Are you friends? Shut up. Well, I guess she's even been on TV lately. A cute, dumb girl is a good catch. What did you say about her, bro? That expression. Does that mean killing Asa Mitaka will bring back Chainsaw Man? That is sinister as fuck. What do you... Picture weighing the following on a pair of scales. On the right side, place. Friends, family, 
a peaceful, wonderful, everyday life. Your pet cat and dogs. We know even about Meowie, bro, and the dogs. And then on the left side, just one thing. The starter that transforms you into Chainsaw Man. Which side is heavier? Mm. Let go. This, I, I'm, I'm out of this crazy place. We'll be seeing you, Chainsaw Man. Enjoy your normal life while you can. That's... What do you mean, enjoy your normal life while you can? Hang on. There's a lot to kind of like unpack here, like, but I don't really know exactly where to start. Um, all right, we'll come back to this. And you can now look at memes and what everyone thinks. That's a straight up threat to Denji, of course. If you don't see that as a threat, I don't know what you'd see it as. All right. Okay, so, right, flamethrower devil, got it. Um, if he did, Chainsaw Man might come save me. We see this again all the time, right? If he turns into a Chainsaw Man in public, ch ch Chainsaw Man in public, public safety will kill Nayuta. If he doesn't turn into Chainsaw Man, then we will kill Nayuta and get rid of everything that he loves anyway. Right? Byron will kill Asa. Oh, Bara means scale in French? Nice. What's funny here with the way this is written is I wonder why he hasn't been fighting devils lately. It's quite the mystery. Hey, what do you think would bring Chainsaw Man back? What I like about this is the way that he's speaking here is very like ominous, you know? The way that he's speaking here is very much like, hmm, let me kind of like back you into a corner. Let me terrorize you with this a little bit. Let me show you just how much power I have and let me show you what I know. Right. I wonder why he hasn't been fighting devils lately. It's quite the mystery. Hey, what do you think would bring Chainsaw Man back? Right. Kind of feigning ignorance in a way. Exactly right. He's feigning ignorance kind of in a way, which actually, funnily enough, given what was said earlier, kind of checks out. Because here, like, you know, we literally just unraveled the fact that, like, even the sword guy, even sword, sword man, believed that Chainsaw Man, who is Denji, who he knows is Denji, said that there was like a, a a ray that america had deployed when all of that type of stuff but then he was like oh yeah yeah that's right well anyway we lie and we embellish some things so even him here even barim here saying and kind of like feigning ignorance the way it looks is that like he kind of would it, like it kind of checks out that even he would be a little bit a bit ignorant about these details but what i get mainly here is just that projection of power exactly right and was mostly doing it for fun but would he come back if a big bad devil tore up tokyo what devil are we talking about here also where is where is where is where is where is sword man standing right now bro is he on the other side of this ring is this a window or a mirror or something? Because, I mean, I thought, like, this was his leg or something, but it's also Denji's arm. So, mate, I mean, where? Or is he just leaning against it? I think he's leaning against it. I think I can see that. Yeah, I think you can You can see it. You can see, like, just the, the little... This little triangle of his pants there. That kind of tricked me out for a sec. What big bad devil are we insinuating? Yoru? Death? Like the death devil? Which devil are we talking about here? Which devil are we talking about that would have to like bring him back, I wonder?
<laughs> you know us, uh, are you friends? You know that we're friends. You know that we're friends, that's why you had this threat lined up, that's why you gave me this line of questioning to begin with. A cute dumb girl is a good catch. How much do they even know about Asa? Do they know about Yoru as well too within Asa? Also, I find it interesting that Baram is in this cult knowing Fami is trying to help Denji. Mm. Yeah. Does that mean killing Asamitaka will bring back Chainsaw Man? Will it? Would it? What if it didn't? What if it didn't as well too though? What if Denji turns around and he doesn't see that as enough of a reason? I don't see that being the case considering that he got freaked out and he just... He just... He, he wanted to leave immediately. So I doubt that that's the case. But I mean, what if by some twist... That's not what brings back Chainsaw Man. Because then, he, here's what, what he has to weigh up. It's it's either Asa or it's Nayuta. Again, he's being forced to choose. It's Asa or it's Nayuta. Does Asa die? Or does Nayuta die? Because either way, if he doesn't turn into Chainsaw Man, then Asa's going to be killed. Um, Or oh, sorry, Asa's going to be killed in order to bring out Chainsaw Man. But then if he does turn into Chainsaw Man with public safety literally watching his back because they know exactly everything about him. They've always got eyes on him and now they've just got another plant on him on top of Yoshida as well too. I mean, then Nayuta's gone because he's turning into Chainsaw Man. He's not supposed to do that and he agreed that he wouldn't do that. So, you know, do you lose your friend or do you lose Nayuta? I, I'd like to think that he would pick Nayuta. But also at the same time, he said earlier, I choose both. I choose both. So, I wonder, when you back Chainsaw Man into a corner, what happens? What happens? Does he go Scorched Earth? <laughs> That's what I wonder. Does he go Scorched Earth? Does he just, you know? Does he completely go, fuck it, I'm going to take on the entire world to protect what it is that I want? Probably doubtful. I choose both. There's two Chainsaw Mans. So, which is it? Mm. Yeah, you see, I don't think I'm going to be able to go into everything that I want to in this reaction alone. So, my apologies if I'm not cooking enough for some people. But, this is pretty fucking crazy. Also, I love how you see here as well too. The symmet like the symmetry or even kind of almost symmetry, right? Where you've literally got the scales here. These are the scales, these two panels right here. The promotional image for part two was Asa holding a chainsaw weapon. Oh yeah, links aren't, aren't allowed, sorry bro. You can whisper it to a mod if you want. Or you can just send it in the Discord. No, I'll bring it up. It's been messing with me ever since. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Um, I guess with this, right? What I wonder is like, how would Denji and Asa be able to be part of the same church at the same time? Hypothetically, right? Because Asa's only there to save Denji. So does Denji tell Asa? Does Denji reveal to Asa that, she, that he is Chainsaw Man? Because, I mean, he's also not allowed to do that as well. <laughs> he's also not allowed to do that too, you know? Yoshida literally said, do not reveal your fucking identity. <laughs> Don't do this. I mean, probably because this shit was in the works to begin with. He can't even he can't even tell Asa if he wanted to, really, technically. So how does he? How does he let Asa know that he is Chainsaw Man and that he doesn't need to be saved, or rather that there's a different way that they can both go about this? 
if he enters the church to save Asa from the inside or to stop Asa from being killed by protecting her from the inside or something like that, right? The church maybe expects him to turn into Chainsaw Man or to bring back Chainsaw Man. But what if Asa can make him into a weapon that is just as power as cha powerful as Chainsaw Man? But then also at the same time, Asa needs a great deal of guilt <laughs> to turn him into Chainsaw Man. Sorry, to turn him into a weapon. And also, there's also that theory as well too, that apparently the hybrids are immune to being turned into weapons because they're already weapons themselves. I've read that in the comments as well too. Which again, makes perfect sense, which is why Denji Spinal Cord Sword <laughs> was difficult. All right, let me open up this link real quick. All right, this was the theme big that you were talking about, right? Part two's major theme of choice. Denji's someone who doesn't know the first thing about right and wrong. You're correct. This is what Fami said. One student with a bright future or five old geezers and grannies in this car. Which will you save? Chainsaw Man, the superhero. And then he chooses the cat, right? Superhero is crazy. I won't let you eat this cake. I won't let you have the ice cream, orange juice, spaghetti, or pudding you ordered either. Say what? Give me those. This was when he was with Yoshida at the cafe. Let me just bring it over. Hold up. Hopefully you guys can still see this. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. All right, cool. My bad for the flashbang. Also, I just noticed there were no double spreads in this read through today. Damn. Okay, so that's where we read up to. I don't want that either. But I also don't want to stop being Chainsaw Man. I want to fight. I want people to fight protesters for me. Look, Denji, the time has come for you to choose between Nayuta's life and your greedy desires. Hmm. Is this greedy, though? Is this what it's like to be normal? Yeah, it is. Also, as well, too. Is this what it's like to be normal? I was thinking this earlier. Completely surrounded by no one. Is this what it's like to be normal for Denji? Is this public safety's version of normal for Denji? Surrounded by absolutely no one. With no one. No one's there. Right? Of course, you know, Miss Ma'am was waiting to come in. Our public safety lapdog was waiting to come in. But here in this one scene, no one's here. He's got nothing. Got nothing and no one. Is this what it's like to be normal? Asa, I wish I'd tried living just a little more selfishly. You always have to do the right thing. You can't turn a person into a weapon. I'd do anything to stop it. Even turn someone into a weapon. I'm being logical too, man. If we save a hundred people, it's no big deal if one person gets screwed in the process, right? He's between cat and criminal, but not so bad that he deserves to die. Asa wants to help Chainsaw Man, Yoru wants to kill him. It's possible to choose both. What's this say? This latest chapter and the Justice Chainsaw Man Church theory really opened my eyes to what this part's major theme is. Can I read this this way? I can't. Oh, maybe we can. Let me hang on. Eh. Come on. Eh. Maybe we can position it. There we go. Kind of works. 
this latest chapter and the Justice Chainsaw Man Church theory really opened my eyes to what this part's major theme is. Throughout part 2, we have been shown many scenes where characters, mainly Asa and Denji, have to choose between two options that are often moral dilemmas relating to justice. Again, where's the fucking justice devil at? There's multiple layers to this theme, but it is best exemplified by the contrast between Asa and Denji. Indeed, right? I will start with Denji. In part 1, Denji doesn't have much choice to do anything. He even mentions that the most choice he probably had was picking what to eat for lunch. In part 2, this is not the case. Fami says it best. Denji is someone who doesn't know the first thing about what's right or wrong. He chooses selfishly. We are first introduced to Denji in part 2, with him ignoring the cockroach's moral dilemma and choosing a third option, to save a cat. Immediately after, he ignores Yoshida trying to make him choose between eating the food or exposing his identity by using his hands to eat the cake. Denji chooses to live selfishly and doesn't pick between the two options presented. He will choose both options, or a third, if that's what he wants. He tries to choose both options when Yoshida tells him to stop being Chainsaw Man or Nayuta dies, but he gives in. Currently, Denji has been forced to live a normal life, an unselfish decision that he is slowly realizing that he dislikes. With the latest chapter, Flamethrower is trying to make Denji choose between Chainsaw Man and his normal life. I believe Denji would choose the third option and do what he truly wants, which may be both. Mm. Mm, mm. Big agree. In contrast, Asa does not choose to be selfish. In the first chapter of part 2, she wishes she lived a little more selfishly. Fami again puts it best. Asa always has to choose the right thing. Asa weighs her decisions based on what's right, and what will hurt the least amount of people. How Asa makes decisions is similar to how the Chainsaw Man Church operates, with them thinking it's okay to hurt some people if it saves many, which is the exact reason Asa tries to turn Denji into a weapon. I believe Asa's development will, live, will be to live more selfishly, like Denji, and not choosing what may be morally right. As many of these choices being made are moral dilemmas, the concept of justice comes into play as well. After rereading part 2, I've noticed that the concepts of selfishness and moral choice have been everywhere. The one I was most surprised by was the cockroaches mod the Cockroach Devil's Moral Dilemma, which I think connects directly to what Sugo says in Chapter 140. I'm excited to see what Fujimoto has in store, because he clearly has been setting up all of these themes and concepts from the very beginning. I've chosen panels from the manga that are related to choice to demonstrate my points. I'm sure there's others too, so please reread Part 2. Yeah, I feel this big time. I feel this big time, man, in as much as... Um, like, as we've talked about in these reactions, plenty... Like, it's a matter of what does Denji really want to do? And whose ideologies is he going to live by? Is he going to hold to his goal of being free? Or is he going to try and live by what someone else's definition of freedom is? And in the end, anyway, is that necessarily what he even wants to do? And I think it's funny because he does say that he'll pick two, right? And picking both options is a third option. Anyway, you know, like the world's trying to be so black and white with him. Public safety is trying to be so black and white with him. So is, you know, the Chainsaw Man Church here as well, too, because in a way they think that they've got him all figured out when really at the end of the day, like He's predictable to a certain extent, but I also feel like Denji is super mad unpredictable as well too, as we've seen w through his dialogues as well too. I mean, you know, under understandably, this is Fujimoto writing it and stuff like that, but just as much as it's Fujimoto writing these dialogues into Denji and also, you know, like, um, trying to, how can I put it, trying to like bait us and lead us on with the story, it's also part of Denji's character in as much as sometimes... He just says shit which is so out of pocket, or does shit which is so out of pocket. And you just go, what the fuck? And so Denji still does, he, he does have, I think, a nature where unpredictability is still a weapon that he has, that he can use as well too. It's just a matter of whether or not others have been able to like safeguard against knowing that he might try and choose those options as well though. Because I think public safety know perfectly well that he will try and do... Um, and, and do that. I wonder though, because 
let's put it this way, right? Um, what I'm thinking about at the moment is these threats, these threats that have been made against Denji have been made under the assumption that Denji cares about the consequences. I'm not saying, and I'm not implying that he doesn't or that he won't, but how can I put it? Like, if Denji turns around and he says, well, I don't actually care about Asa or whatever, then the, the church's threat that they just made, it, it means literally nothing to him then. Again, I don't think that that's the case. But what I'm trying to say is like, I wonder where the whether or not there's a different way that things will be written in coming chapters to like kind of like reposition what it is that he cares about in order for him to like kind of formulate a plan on how to deal with these types of things or whether or not that will be the case. I'm not entirely sure if that makes any fucking cohesive sense to anyone. But basically what I mean is that like if you kill Nayuta, she's only going to respawn anyway. <laughs> She's only going to come back. Technically, it's just that also at the same time, she won't come back without there being any cost on Denji, if that makes sense. Like, of course, there would be a massive emotional toll that that would take on Denji because he's looking after her, he cares for her. And also, Nayuta knows Denji as Denji and Denji knows Nayuta as Nayuta. So any other incarnation of her at this point would essentially be someone that he needs to, like, get to, you know get to know again so I doubt that he would like you know abandon these things that he cares about but these the threats of these individuals the threats of these organizations like public safety is safe public safety well public safety and the chainsaw man church they only have as much weight I think as Denji gives to them if that's if that makes sense and so I think that he'll be able to like formulate some type of other plan to be able to like find a way out of that but either way I still think choosing the Chainsaw Man Church is kind of a mistake. Things don't seem right here. Things don't seem good here. Yeah, no worries, man. Things don't seem good here. I don't like where this is going. Hey, thank you, bro. Yeah. I don't know. What do you guys reckon? Uh, chat? Do you like the Chainsaw Man Church? My comments, my comment to friends. Do you like the Chainsaw Man Church? What are your theories? Go ahead, talk about it. We can now. Oh God, I'm actually so happy about that. We can actually talk about it now. <gasps> We're caught up, baby. Fuck. What do you reckon about the Chainsaw Man Church? Do you think that they're a force for good or do you think that they're not to be trusted? I think for me, I lean more towards suspicion, but I'm eagerly awaiting to see what it exactly is um, that happens with this. I think I do need to reread part two, and I probably will even on my own time, um, to go back and to look at again what exactly the go is with Fami and her intentions, because again, like. I just think that sometimes, and naturally, you can't catch all of this on, um, you can't catch on to, I think, all of this just in one read. If you could, then it wouldn't be as revered as it is. I think it's a work of art because that's the thing, right? You look at art, you look at paintings, you look at things like that many different times and you get inspired by different things every time. You have different thoughts come to mind every time you reread through something. So, you know, I don't want anyone being like, God, I can't believe you didn't fucking think of that or whatever or anything like that. But for me, I know that I need to go back because I want to assess Fami's intentions or at least what she said through a couple of different lenses, I think, especially now being caught up. I have a little bit more context as to like where we're at with certain things. Whereas to begin with, I was like, who the fuck are you? What do you want? What do you want with my man? <laughs> also, you're kind of cute. What do you want with my man? <laughs> like, you know? So it was tough. I'm still sus of that shadow hand that talked with Issei, Yumi, and Fami. It was talking about how they're all parts for something bigger, including Fami. Indeed. Right? 
Thank you, bro. Also, someone also said something really interesting in the comments the other day talking about um, how Fami had to have starved the falling devil. Because indeed, how the fuck was Fami able to starve falling so that falling could do her bidding for her? You know? How was that able to happen? You know? Like starving a primal fear. How'd we do that? How'd we get there? What's going on? <laughs> you know? Crazy times. Anyway, man. Let me know what you guys thought. Indeed, indeed. Let me know what you guys thought. Uh, thank you guys so much, as always, for tuning in. Thank you so much for the love and the support of the uh, the Chainsaw Man series over here so far uh, on the channel. I know that it's been a little bit with migration from the LKTV anime channel to this one and whatnot, but I, I really love and appreciate all of you guys for tuning in all the time and for hitting the like goals and all of that type of stuff. I really, I don't want to sound too like cringe with this, but I guess this is kind of like my intention with manga. But I've really fallen in love with manga and I'd love to share it with as many people as possible. I actually get kind of mad that people, when we do manga streams and stuff like that, people just like tune out and people leave. Because I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? This is peak fucking entertainment. Like, dude, manga, manga is a lot better than I think people give it credit for. And I know that some people are like, no, don't make it mainstream or don't try and get normies into it or fucking whatever. But... Bro, honestly, I really think that um, it's such a cool art form and something that I really wish that I'd been able to appreciate earlier. Um, and so when I see people interacting in the comments and talking and talking on the reactions and, um, you know, talking on things that I've been saying or sharing it with others or, you know, hitting the like girls and uh, the, the like girls, <laughs> the like goals, sorry, channeled my inner Dennis for a second. Um, you know, hitting the like goals and stuff like that. It helps push it, I think, to people um, that would be interested in manga, which is great. And also on top of that, I think it um, it helps wake more people on this channel up to manga as well too. So uh, I just, I, I'm really appreciative of that, y'all. So thank you. I really appreciate you guys. But yeah, anyway, of course, if you want more Chainsaw Man and you want to catch up with uh, obviously, or keep up rather, should I say, with the coming reactions for the next um, the next chapters and whatnot, do feel free to stick around. Again, 200 likes on this video and Fire Punch reactions will be out as soon as possible. Can't fucking wait for that. And uh, also on top of that, I'm not entirely sure at this point whether or not I'll be doing um, Chainsaw Man chapters weekly. Maybe we will. Maybe we will do it and we'll do it as like a weekly discussion. Um, I kind of don't want to, you know, I kind of don't want to like sit here twiddling my thumbs for like two or three weeks only to like let it stack up. Trust me, I can talk for a long time. I turn six hours, six chapters into two fucking hours. So maybe we can come through and vibe every week. But anyway, let me know what you guys would like to do. Do you want to be here weekly or do you want me to let them stack up? Let me know. But until next time, take care, stay safe. Love and appreciate you guys. One in the comments if you snuck around for the entire video up to this point and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.